Hello everyone, it's Leon Lush, so happy to be here. I just wanna give you a little present day update on this situation. Those of you that are returning subscribers and returning viewers may be wondering, asking yourself, man, this title seems a little familiar, Leon, and that's because this is the first time ever I have re-uploaded a video. Now, this video that you're about to watch was originally uploaded on October 21st, but a lot has transpired since then. To sum it up, I've had a lot of DM conversations with Parker, who is the talent from Luxury Pranks which is the YouTube channel I'm criticizing in this video. Uh, initially, he wanted me to change the title, and then he was becoming very friendly and wanted to give me his side of things, right? And I figured I would give him an opportunity to do that. But all while this is happening, the video actually got botted with dislikes and views. It completely wrecked the video, the analytics. YouTube was investigating it for me, didn't know what was going on. But it basically broke the video and I ended up having to delete it. Now I'm going to get into a lot more detail about this situation in tomorrow's longer video where I actually have a phone interview with Parker from Luxury Pranks. So are you saying, you're saying that every, all the child predators in your videos are legit child predators? It depends, I mean, dude, I mean, what, what do you classify as a, what do you classify as a child predator? <laughs> I don't know. Parker, you're the expert here, man. I also interview uh, this lovely Canadian girl uh, that I've become friends with who also had something similar happen to her around the same time when she made a video about luxury pranks. Actually, my conversation did not start off friendly. <laughs> um, he was right off the bat like, where are, you, where are your sources? Like, you're, you don't sound like a legitimate news channel or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I showed him the source and he's just he was threatening to do us if we change the title. But I wanted to get this video back up on my channel because A, I think it's a good video and I stand by what I said in it. And B, it's kind of like a segue and a necessary backstory to the video I'm uploading tomorrow, which kind of elaborates on the situation that's occurred since this whole thing has gone down this past three to four weeks. All right, so that spicy burrito's going up tomorrow on the channel at the same time. Fair warning. It's going to be a lot longer than my normal videos because it's interview style, right? A little bit different than what I typically do, but I think it'll be worth the watch, so I hope to see you there. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this video again or for the first time. As always, I appreciate your support, uh, so let's get right into it. Three, two, one, go! Dude, YouTube sucks right now. Nigel, can you, can you please give me one decent recommendation of something I can watch and be entertained with on YouTube? You should check out some child predator social experiments. Bruh. bruh I know, bruh, you wanna bruh, check bruh, them out? Bruh. Hell yeah! Today, we're trying to expose a child predator. All right, so we're waiting in the bathroom for to get here. So let's see what happens. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new seven layer lasagna. My name is Leon Lush and I am dead chuffed that you would allow me to occupy a few of your minutes here today. Now, I don't even know where to begin with this video, really. I've been getting messages for the last several weeks saying, Leon, react to some TikTok cringy TikToks. Do a TikTok video. Fucking make a TikTok video, Leon. <laughs> and you know what? I get it. Like, believe me, I understand. TikTok is a gold mine of cringy 13 year olds in cringy pedophiles, but I just haven't been able to bring myself to make a video on it, and I apologize. So when I saw this video, I said, perfect. Now I can just react to what is most definitely a fake social experiment, and at the same time, scratch that TikTok itch from my audience, because, well, it's TikTok's in the title of the video. Two birds, one big motherfucking stone. Oh, I wish I could go out, but I'm stuck here working on this assignment. It's such a beautiful night, just look at that moon. Just go to tutorage.com. Tutorage.com? What's that? Tutorage is a site where you can hire a professional writer and get rid of your academic problems. So we're immediately greeted with this Tutorage brand integration, and if you're not familiar with Tutorage or EduBirdie, which is another company that does exactly the same thing. If I can see a video, there's a program called EduBirdie that does your essays for you. There's no plagiarism, so you'll never get caught. They're an online service that allows people to pay them to do their schoolwork for them. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTube content over the years, and in that time, I've seen a handful of creators that have worked with Tutorage or EduBirdie as a sponsor, and not surprisingly, um, 
they're all pieces of shit. Hey kids, are you tired of unfun school getting in the way of really fun Fortnite? Well, don't worry, because just grab your parents' credit card and give my partners here a little bit of money, and they'll do all your schoolwork for you so you can grow up to be a dumb f like me that schleps fake social experiments to his audience full of children. <laughs> We created a TikTok account using our decoy actress, Zoe. She uploaded a few TikToks of her lip syncing and dancing and was DM'd by several older men. Despite pretending to be 16 years old, Zoe managed to lure a 56 year old TikTok predator named Drew to our set today. Drew thinks he's meeting up with a 16 year old girl while her parents are out. We just need to set up the cameras and get to work. Are you ready, Chester? Let's get to work. Now, as captivated as I was by these pioneers of justice, especially Chester here on the left. Let's get to work. I thought, you know what? Let's dig into these guys just a little bit. Let's see what they're all about before we pass judgment. Let's give them a fair shot. Meet Luxury Pranks. 1.2 million subscribers, and just by taking a quick peek over their video catalog, it's no secret why they call themselves luxury. Because when I think of luxury, I'm thinking gold digger pranks and catfishing. Hey, what's up? Can I stay here? Sure. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a weird question, but like, you think I can get your number? I'm sorry, but I don't really know you. All right. Yo, I was at your cops last night. You're Juicy J, right? Yeah, man. For what it's worth, Juicy J is not a fake rap name. He's a member of the Three Six Mafia, and he's been rapping since before this kid had hair on his balls. I'm out of here. What? No, he did not. Oh, dear Lord. So over the course of the next year or two, they continue with these gold digger pranks and try their hands at some catfishing videos. And things are going all right, but they're not really getting the traction they'd like. The views and subs aren't climbing at the rate they'd like. They can't afford the Gucci shoes yet. They haven't had that banger that they need, right? To really set them apart from the pack. And then they tried their very first catching a child predator social experiment. And let me tell you, they found their YouTube golden goose. What's up, guys? I'm Parker, and this is Luxury Pranks. So we're here with Amy, and she created a fake Twitter profile saying she was 14. Immediately, tons of older men contacted her through her DMs. Facts. I mean, that's just how Twitter works. You create a fake profile and say you're 14, immediately, tons of older men just start sending you DMs. This is the world we live in, folks. I'm not kidding. Create a fake Twitter profile right now that says you're 14. Don't even reach out to anybody. About to just create the account. <laughs> fucking notifications off the ceiling. Old man, old man, old man. Show me your to old. Fuck out of here. Hello? Are you angry? Yeah. <laughs> Get over here. Get over! Get over! Get over! Get over! Get in! Get in! And fade to black, and that's it. <laughs> Just kick him out of the hotel room and lock that door behind you so he doesn't come back and rape all three of you. This is some definitely real, very compelling, uh, groundbreaking work by a couple of novice YouTubers uh, before they even knew this would blow up into something. As you can see, these men are extremely unpredictable. Make sure your children know what they're getting hey, into kids. before they go onto social media. I mean, in a minute and 40 seconds, this video, front to back, it's easy to tell how much care and planning went into pulling off such an intricate social experiment, especially when it's something that is such a dangerous situation to put this young woman in. I'm just glad that they didn't take any shortcuts. I mean, this is some scary shit. I get the chills right now. It is a scary world we live in, folks. We, we got a dying world around us, Jesse. We got a dying nation around us. That's right. We live in a dying nation. In a long tube with a bunch of demons. So they upload it and it bangs. And just like every good YouTuber does, you try and recreate the bangers. So fast forward 14 months and 48 more catching a child predator social experiment videos later. Here we are. Hey, Brian. Are you so weird? Uh, yeah. Okay, you can stop being. What are you doing? Okay, let me just. Help! Help! This door's locked, dude. I'm sorry, did they lock themselves in the bathroom? <laughs> Talk about some added spice to this suspense thriller. <laughs>
Oh, shit. He got away again. What else is in here? Alright. Dude, he's got a knife in here. No, show this. He's got a knife in here. I mean, what child predator doesn't carry a knife around in a grocery bag instead of their pocket? Normal people carry knives in pockets. Child predators, knife and grocery bag. That's fucking child predator 101. Once again, we proved these men to be extremely dangerous. <laughs> Make sure to monitor who your children talk to online. Oh my God. We cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. The fucking balls these guys have to do this fake bullshit and then try to virtue signal at the end of their video, trying to play the good guys. Do me a favor, get, get fucked. fucked. Hi, I'm Parker and this is Luxury Pranks. Before this video starts, we just want to say thank you so much for 1 million subscribers. Uh, this has always been a dream and thank you guys so much for helping us achieve this. Hey guys, thank you so much for 1 million subscribers. Um, it's always been our dream to find success monetizing and making a mockery of real life traumatic situations that people actually go through every day by faking those situations to build a subscriber base. We're just so grateful for you guys for being ignorant fucking kids that can't figure out that this is fake. Just keep smashing that bell, keep hitting that like button. Here's to, uh, to two million subscribers, guys. We're just gonna keep faking these social experiments. Fuck everyone who's actually had to deal with this in real life. Hell yeah. Uh, luxury pranks, Oh. Hi, I'm Parker and this is Luxury Pranks. Before this video starts, we just want to alert you about a child that has gone missing in Mississippi. Her name is Myra Lewis, and she went missing four years ago when she was only two years old. If you have any information on her, please contact your local authorities. So to double down on the manipulative bullshit these guys pull in a lot of their videos at the beginning, they'll like search up a missing child database and then plug one of these kids and say, if you have any information about this child, contact your local authorities. Uh, to further play the good guy and virtue signal, and then immediately they'll just shit right down your throat. The reason we mention this is because we want to use our large fan base to spread awareness about kids who have been abducted. So for this episode... Like that! Like that right there, you gotta pay attention or you might miss it because it's very subtle, but as he's talking about child abduction, they do a little edit where his regular glasses turn to alien goggles, and what are aliens known for? Abducting people! <laughs> Is there anything funnier than making light of child abduction? I I don't think that there is, but that's, I mean, could correct me if I'm wrong. Now at this point, these two have the YouTube success formula down to a science. You start off by promoting a company that helps kids cheat through school by taking their money. You pay a Craigslist actor a hundred bucks to help you film one of these poorly executed, wildly unbelievable to catch a predator social experiments. Then you sit back and watch those views start rolling in because as hard as it is to believe, there are millions of children on the internet that have a very hard time discerning the difference between what is real and what is fake. Subscribe to support our cause. And what exactly is that cause, gentlemen? I'm curious, is it to spread awareness on the dangers of child predators? Or, or, is it to dupe little children into thinking you're doing something righteous when in reality you're just a couple of talentless pricks that have to lie and deceive their way to one million subscribers in order to make a couple of dollars? <laughs> oh shit. So we're back to the original reason why I started looking into these guys, this TikTok predator social experiment. And I gotta tell you, they've really come full circle. They are just, the production value's up. They got the predators dancing now, doing TikToks. They really know how to play the trends and keep, you know, stay in their lane of child predator social experiments. Hi. Can I sit with you? You're, uh, you're a little younger than I expected. You look older. I told you I was 16. It's in my bio. So you saw it when you messaged me. Well, I may have. Maybe I overlooked it or, I don't know, just something else. You never know. Maybe I secretly won it. Oh my god, just another, just another Oscar-worthy performance. Just, wow. Oh, Heart-wrenching. Performance, And this is what's so great about YouTube, isn't it? Channels like this that are built on lies and deceit, fully exploiting the fears of young kids, staying monetized, making all kinds of money. And then channels like mine where nine out of 10 videos I upload get demonetized because I say fuck one too many times or 
occasionally dodge a PNG of a dildo. That's just not allowed. I think I'm just gonna start compulsively lying and deceiving my audience. I'll hire a couple of Craigslist actors, make some like fake rape prank social experiments or something, but I'll plug a rape victim in the beginning to pretend like I'm spreading awareness because YouTube loves that, I guess. Uh, just don't say f or it's night night. Let's get to work. Well, another day, another pair of lying scumbags thriving on YouTube. Where have we seen that before? <laughs> My brother. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. It seems to be a theme here on the internet. Put any sort of dignity or self-respect aside in the sky's the limit on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time. Uh, obviously, child abuse and child predation is a very real problem in the world. I just think that the way these guys are taking the fear and the emotions that people feel around this particular sensitive subject matter and exploiting it for their own... YouTube channel, their own personal gain, the money, the subs, it's, uh, I think it's just kind of shitty. You might say, oh, Leon, maybe they are just trying to spread awareness. Even if it's fake, they're still, they're still spreading awareness for the dangers of talking to people online. Blah, blah. I personally think they could give a f about spreading awareness for anything. They just want to open up their YouTube analytics and see that shit trending upwards. And don't get me wrong, I want to see my shit trending upwards too, as does every YouTuber. But the means and the way in which you get there I think is way more important than simply getting there. So let me know what you guys think by leaving a comment down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. If you're new here, it mean the world to me. If you subscribe and if you've been a subscriber for a while and you wanna take our relationship to that next level, consider buying some merchandise. And finally, before you go, if you could do me a small favor and go to the downstairs bathroom, brush your teeth with your father's toothbrush and then chug a half gallon of orange juice and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. That would mean a great deal. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.